Hello, welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. Um, we're going to be doing Cancer's reading from the 23rd to the 30th of November. So that is the end of November, guys. Um, pretty much uh, justification wants to jump out. So probably dealing, judging something. Could be dealing with court. Um... These messages coming in before I can even get my introduction. Okay, guys, this may not resonate with everyone. If it does not, please uh, throw it out to the universe to someone who does need it. Um, check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. This is a collective, so it will not resonate with everyone. Okay, cancer. Let <laughs> me just get to it. Um, I am. You're waiting on someone. I'm feeling like your energy is sleepless nights. Or anxiety. Waiting on someone. We got courtship. Uh, so we just had judification and we had courtship here. So um, what I'm getting from this cancer, like maybe you're waiting on some information to come in. Okay. And you're having sleepless nights. You got the gift. <clears throat> the gift card. So something you might be waiting on or hoping works out in your favor. If you're in court. If you're going to court about something. Could be a job. Um, could be a long time marriage that is being dissolved at this time. Yes. Because it came right back out. Court card came right back. So you... It, either this is a legal matter that you're dealing with, with the systems, judge, courts, government, things like that. Uh, and um, you're trying to see, it could be child support, alimony. It could be uh, severing the ties of homes, cars, things like that. And you're a little worried about how this is going to all play out. But at the end of the day, you're hoping, you really are hoping that things work out and balance right. Uh, but from what I'm seeing, the universe is going to give you a gift in the middle of this. Like, like you've been working on something and doing something, whether it's working on yourself. Maybe you've had a, a really difficult time in this marriage. You could have been, and I, I hope it was not. Could have been mentally or abusive. Uh, mentally, physically, or abusive, hope none of it. But it just seems like, let me see, we looking at a marriage 30 years or less, could have been 17, could have been four years. Uh, looking at the numbers that I'm looking at here. And so there's a big decision when you think about what changes has to be made in your life after being with someone for all of that time. But I'm also seeing, Cancer, there may have, yeah, you was feeling, it's like imprisonment, you know, like, um, you was bound, you was bound to this marriage, you was, you know what I'm getting, you was committed, cancer, you were the cross watcher, you was committed, you didn't really want this to happen, you wanted to hold on to this marriage, you know, uh, maybe someone decided that they wanted to start doing courtship. Like going out seeing other people or not respecting the marriage anymore or they just got tired or maybe they felt that they were bound to this marriage and they needed to get out and do something else. And the reason why you probably stayed as long as you guys had children, wanted children or had children. Um, I also see this, this child card here too is like this person, maybe they got married too soon. Too early in their life. And all of a sudden, they want to revert back to their childhood <laughs> days. I'm just saying, Gavin, don't shoot the messenger. They decide they want to go back and and soak their oath. They want to be the player they wasn't, you know. Or they wanted to see what else was out there. Um, in reverse, you have the uh, unexpected income. So, and that's in reverse. So... What to me is like, un is, is, un uh, when it's up, get it together. When it's upright, that's uh, unexpected income coming in, right? 
when it's in reverse, this is not unexpected behavior. Maybe this behavior this person was going on the whole time of the marriage and you just chose not to look at it or see it and continue to have yourself bound in it. But the spirit is going to, the, the spirit is going to give you a gift for that. The universe is on your side. Um, you, you're going to get paid for all the struggles you went through. Because I'm seeing someone that was on the side of the, the, the line that they had made this promise, right, of marriage. And they wanted to just stay in this commitment. It was done. Maybe you didn't believe in divorces, walking away. Maybe society seeing you as having it all in the perfect family or whatever, kids, family, and every yes. And as the mature woman is under the bottom. So maybe the family sent you that way, the mature woman. Um, you had everything going for you, the marriage, the kids. Or this mature woman could definitely be your mother. And you didn't want to disappoint her. Maybe, um, you know, you wanted her to believe that you were happy. But you were in this unhappiness for a long time. You was bound. And this person that you was in this marriage with, they may have been in and out. And sometimes you can count on them and sometimes you can't. Um, but from what I'm seeing, yeah, this is going all the way. You can take this to the bank because universe has something. And this person should not be thinking you're going to get anything less because they know you had put up with a lot of their mess. You understand, Cancer? So if they think they're going to, like, uh, roll rail the justice system and it's not going to come out in your favor, they can forget that. Whatever efforts they put in, the universe going to give it back to them, all right? Whatever efforts you put in, the universe is going to give it back to you. So that's what they're going to need to know. Let's see what more messages I can get out for you, Cancer, at this time. Spirit guys, give us some guidance for Cancer, the, watch, the cross watcher. Why is the courtship card here? Why is the courtship card here? Yes, again, what I just tell you. That's what I just tell you. Yeah, that's universe. It's coming in. That, that gift is coming in. That's also um, a fresh new beginning, right? It can be a, a new beginning in some endeavor, something that you wanted to start. Maybe something that was holding you back. Look at here. You can't. You can't make this up. Something that was holding you back in the past. Because there was not equal give and take, well, you're about to get that now. And look, that gift, this, uh, let me show y'all how to, and look what's under the bottom. Yes, dropping them. You see them ten wands, you, you about to drop them burdens. And look, under that gift, went right up under the gift was the um, six of cups. That's something from the past. So you, this gift is coming from something you didn't did in the past. Taking care of them kids, being there, holding into to their marriage. Sometimes people just think of this as, uh, re uh, reconciliation back with somebody from the past or somebody coming from the past or whatever. But I'm seeing this as a gift coming to you from the universe from the past. And the reason I say that because you got this little page of pentacles here. And that's a that's something new. That's a new adventure. That's something you're going to love too, Cancer. You're going to really like it. You may not see it right now. It may not look the best. But I promise you. And this... This six of pentacles comes right up under that. You see that? So that means when you see, he got to make, he's got to make the decision on what goes what and look what fell under. Equal give and take. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry. It's equal give and take. You're going to get your share in it. So uh, like I told you, when I got into your energy, you were stressed, sleepless nights, thinking about an outcome or how something was going to pan out and you're imprisoning your mind about it you're going in over and over but release that anxiety because you get yourself sick with doing all of that okay uh you got the mature woman either this mature woman is your mother or this mature woman is someone got your back that's going to help and nurture you through this maybe you have a strong good friend on the side or maybe this just you now you didn't matured grew up and understand that this relationship that you was in was not equal give and take and that this person just 
You know, they wanted to get out there. This is the, how they was living. Like a child, they was immature. Definitely could have been immature. They could have had a child on the side, maybe one or two. I don't know. And you just stuck in there anyway. This is what all you getting your. This is what you're getting paid back for. There are secrets, probably things that you didn't even know about relationship, women, men, whatever it may be. Um, but whatever it was in reverse, it ain't gonna be a surprise to this person. Believe me, deep down in their heart and their soul, spirit knows how to guide you and make you feel what's going on in your life. And he going he or she gonna know it when you get to court. But anyway, at the end of the day, you didn't drop them burns, okay? You dropped them burns. All right, and you know why? Yeah, yeah, see. I can't even get spirit just dropping these cards. Okay, first card you got is the Empress. You know why? I told you, you was the wifey. You the wifey, could be the husband just because he's the Empress. You know, you could have just been in your feminine energy more than the masculine. It don't make a difference. But you the Empress. You was the nurturer. You took care of the home. You did everything you could to keep everything together. And while you was doing that, you had a page of cup running about town. And you see you see how he's not offering that to you? He, he, he offering it to the opposite direction of you. You over here. You over here. And this cup is being offered the opposite direction to you. And you know why? Because look at this. Because then you got the five of pentacles. That's holding on to some. Trying to hold on to that mindset of, oh, I got, you know, woe is me. I got married too soon. I had kids too soon. Uh... I was too young or I got into marriage and then I realized this and I really want to get out there and soak my oaks and do all that. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you should have said all that before you got married. You should have realized that before you got married because once you commit to the spirit, the vine, you got a whole nother uh, 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 gift going to be coming towards you. It ain't going to be the one that you want. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's all right because this empress will get what it is that she deserves and that will be you okay so cancer don't worry about it stop losing all that sleep about it because this person was immature and the other way i see this is this person you was the stable one or whatever and they was just running out offering a cup everywhere while you just at home holding on you know uh <laughs> You, you just at home, you know, keeping the house clean, the kids, going to work, just balancing the bills, doing everything with this four of pentacles. You was just holding on, you know, you or they could have been holding on for a short success with you because they know where maybe you was, because you are, you're the empress. With the empress, you have all the tools it is that you need, and they knew that. They knew you had it, so that's why they kept giving you that little bitty old page, a cup with the fish in it that's already tainted because they knew how you care about nourishing stability and the way your mindset is that you, you know, you would stay there and you would take care of everything that needs to be done while they continue to go out there and act a fool out there in them streets like that. And, but it's all right because you're going to, you know, and the empress comes right under the mature woman. So that definitely lets me know that it's coming in for you. And maybe you might feel, I think and I'm feeling right now, Cassie, you feeling like, man, time has passed. You know, I wasted a lot of time, you know. I'm getting older now. Don't you worry about that. People going to get old all the time and every day. But I tell people, ain't nothing really old but money. Now, you change your attitude and you go out there and you do you. Right, because uh, you can don't sit and and ponder down in this saying that you know oh it's too late and I wasted all my time. Stop looking in the past. Don't look at the past. Look to the future or what it is that you have. Realize and accept to yourself this is the type of energy that you will not ever accept again. I don't care how old you is if you. And I'm feeling this is a person running anywhere between the age of uh, 35 to maybe 55. So don't don't do it no more. Don't run into when you get the, when you see this energy, you're gonna know exactly what to do because you know relationships are lessons learned. Now, if you've been in this marriage 30 years, 17, 30 or 17 years, which I'm seeing here, I can even got 29, I got 18 on the board. Okay, that is a lot of lessons to be learned. And you should be real smart now, Cancer. You shouldn't have you should know exactly what you want and which direction you're moving in now. And you definitely shouldn't be dealing with any of this uh childlike energy that doesn't benefit you. All right? You're going to do some childlike energy, then you need to be doing that with someone that's bringing passion and love and adventure into a relationship committed with you. So don't settle for less. If you've been there, done that, don't do it again. So know that at the end of the day, you may feel, you know, some kind of way about this uh, situation, but 
don't worry about it because at the end of the day, the spirit has what he has for you and you do have a gift coming. You're going to have a new beginning. Life starts again and you'll be happy with it. I'm going to get the last closing card for you, uh, Cancer. What is a closing message for Cancer? Yes. You know, <laughs> this is just one. You see that moon? That means it's not hidden from you anymore. You know the truth. That's the moon. And you know, self conscious it was your self-conscious telling you. Y'all, I'm looking around. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. Huh? Huh? Okay. Look at that. Look and look. Look at that. Okay. Here's the end. Okay. Here it is. Now, the, how do your reading end, Cancer? There's no more hidden things. And you come up out of your mind about the self-conscious. I shoulda, woulda, coulda, houlda. Took too long. I didn't see this. I didn't see it. Forget all of that, Cancer. Forget all of that, right? That's the end of that. The secrets, the hiding, the kids, the baby, the behavior, the toxic behavior, the things you did know, the things you didn't know, the things you should have seen, the things you... Let all that go. You're done with that, right? You know why you're done with it? Because you are the queen. Now, now you went. Now, look, you know, you can't make this up. Y'all know I can't make this up. Spirit, go ahead. Look, you went from being the empress to the nine of pentacles. You know what that means? This was being at home, nourishing, taking care of everybody except for yourself. Guess what you're doing now? Please tell me what you're doing now. You're taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. And guess what? You see that, you see that gift all around you, don't you? You see them pinnacles? That's that gift all around you. And you sitting there and you feeling pretty good about yourself. But you got to work on it. It ain't never easy when you got to end something and get out there on your own. But what you need to know is the universe got you. The angels, they've seen what you did and that is why they're giving you. This is a whole new world for you. This is a new beginning. This is the end of your reading, Cancer. And I really, really like this. So stand in your power. Look at that, Cancer. I can't make it up. Look. Look at that. You got the ten of cups. It's coming in. So you're like, oh, man, I'm going to be single maybe. I've been in a relationship so long, I don't want, want to be single. But your ten of cups that's going to come in, you're going to get the ten of cups. And don't get in this hangman. Don't get in this hangman uh, energy talking about, oh, wait, I got to look at things. You know things. When, that, when it comes, you're going to know it. Because the universe is bringing it in. That wheel is starting to come. And you're going to have your Ten of Cups. You know. And you are the Queen of the Nine of Pentacles. Right? The Nine of Pentacles. After all these things have been um, cut away. I'm surprised it wasn't a towel. But you know what? As You know why it wasn't a towel? Because the Spirit feels like, you know what? I ain't got to towel her that much. Because she's grown so much and healed so much. And been through enough. That I'm just going to smooth it out just like this. A little easy. It's going to be a little... You know, rocky mountains, but it won't be as tough, right? But you've done the work yourself. You've been removing obstacles yourself. You've been throwing people out that doggone tower. So he didn't have to bring it in. So he just started bringing things that you didn't know that would help you to move forward. Small little secrets, big little secrets. I don't know. That would help pull forward you forward. In cancer, you're going to be just fine. You move forward. And the universe has something special for you because you have done the work. So don't feel bad about walking away or the fact someone walked away from you. Stand in your power and now be the Nine of Pentacles. Single, independent, beautiful, loving, caring to yourself. And then he will send you in that perfect happiness, that Ten of Cups when he's ready or when you're ready for it. He will send it in to you. Because the wheel is turning. Thank you, Cancers, for joining the reading. If you guys found anything in this reading did resonate with you, please give a thumbs up, like, and share. If uh, not, please check your sun, your moon, and your rising. And I will see you guys on the next time. Bye, Cancer.